Welcome back to the Holdsworth Homestead. It's October, so the weather's starting to cool down a little bit. And I'm starting to get things ready for winter, believe it or not. Just wanted to do a video update of some of the things going on in the fall while I've had a few days off to just stay home and focus on yard work. I'm starting right in the middle of one of my fenced off gardens. Reason being that I've got some red tie roselle plants that are starting to get their blooms on them that'll turn into flower calyxes that are used to make Jamaican sorrel drink and you can turn them into basically cranberry jelly. Um, they self seed so I don't usually even have to replant and around Thanksgiving and Christmas is right around when they're ready so perfect for the holidays. So you can see on these this is what's going to end up being the flower calyx, of course they get probably about four times that size before they're ready to harvest. And on these you can also eat the leaves which kind of have a pleasant citrusy flavor to them. This is also a neat plant that I wanted to show off while I'm in here. This is what's called a peanut butter fruit. And once they're ripe they'll be a dark red color and then they're ready to harvest and then they actually have a peanut butter flavor to them. So this is a fairly new planting, but I've probably got about six of these around property. Here's one that's actually a little taller, but it hasn't made any fruit yet. And then there's a few other plants in this garden. This is a little tiny black sapote seedling. That's a red wax jambu seedling from the tree that I have. Got some cranberry hibiscus. Those don't make quite as big flower calyxes, so generally those are used for their leaves, which kind of have a citrusy cranberry flavor to them. That's a little carob plant right there. They have a fruit that's kind of similar to chocolate. And then I've got a couple Patanga tuba or star cherry. They're in there that were grown from seed. And next to that is some stevia, which is sort of like a artificial sugar. Tastes like sugar. Back on my fence line, that bloom that you can see right there is a flower for gack fruit, which those make these big orange spiky fruits and they're used for the red flesh that surrounds the seed to dye rice red. Got a few moringa trees in here and in the background is some katuk that's coming up on probably seven or eight feet tall. Those have a nice kind of pea flavor to them and they've got a high protein content. So do a quick circle around the garden here, got some banana trees, and I'll take a look at some of these plants later as I work my way out of this jungle garden. I just did a rough count. Oh, let's see, you can take a look at the one of the blooms here on the red tie roselle. And actually I saw earlier a little bit of mealy bugs going on there, which the ants are enjoying, so I should probably take care of that. Anyway, I did a rough count earlier today and figured out I've got about 125 or so actual fruit trees. There's an olive tree right there. Got some cactus that makes edible fruit, some pineapples, and then I've got over 70 bananas. So all in all, I've got, if you can consider a banana as a fruit tree, um, over 200 fruit trees at this point. So taking a look around the corner here, my Monstera, which is about probably seven years old, has some fruit up at the top. It's probably gonna take about another year for that fruit to actually get ripe. And then I've got some different ginger plants. And this was my cacao that's inside its little makeshift greenhouse, which was meant to be temporary, so I have to take this and clean it up a little bit for this coming winter. Bromeliad garden up front. Further away look at this fenced in garden and the outside of it. Some moringa trees, there's a peach tree in there, Suriname cherry, pineapples, South Sea salad tree, Beijing grass down below, lemongrass up in front, all the katsuk plants, a mango, that I grew from seed that's about four years old. So this probably should have been pruned a while ago, but I just took pruners to it this year 
And it's got some new growth coming out, kind of the reddish brown tips on there. And it would be nice if I could get some fruit off of it this year. But the one on the corner there is a strawberry or catly guava. Got a few ornamentals, some big tall lemongrass, it's a cherry of the Rio Grande. There's a sugar apple and some turmeric in the middle. I'll go around that way shortly. This is all my passion fruit vine along this garden fence. Turmeric is getting to the point where it's starting to go dormant. Coming up on a few bananas. Some more katuk. Got a couple pineapples. My big old Bismarck palm that started out as a seven plant, seven gallon plant. And my Canary Island date palm. So I've got four of these strawberry trees. These front two make yellow fruit that tastes like cotton candy. And then the back two make red fruit that's got kind of the same flavor. These are some ice cream bananas getting ready to go. Hopefully those will make it. Peach tree. Have some loquats here in the back and then some sherbet berry towards the front. Hopefully this low quad will make some fruit for me this coming year. Got a sapodilla and starting to make a couple fruits. This died back pretty hard in the 2017-2018 frost, but now it's doing its thing again. Few different types of bananas, another mango tree, Barbados cherry, it's an avocado there towards the middle. Now's a good time of year to start harvesting cassava. The leaves are starting to turn and drop on that. Just gotta be careful to boil it well so you don't get cyanide poisoning. This is a yerba mate holly used to make tea. Just did some pineapple planting in here yesterday. It's a little peanut butter fruit, black sapote. So I just put in 20 pineapples in this garden yesterday, and these were all starts from pineapples that I harvested from the garden this year. And then in the background here, there's my star fruit, one of two. It's got a bunch of blooms on it right now, so I hope I get some more fruit, and the bees really, really like them. It's a thai mulberry back there. Some clumping bamboo up front, a white Hong Kong orchid tree, some lemongrass, some more cranberry hibiscus. Got a cocoa plum along the fence, and my shampoo ginger. Starting to go dormant, and we haven't had a lot of a lot of rain recently either, so that doesn't help. We could definitely use some rain. Kind of a overall look here at the front yard. Some dragon fruit climbing up the palm tree. Not a whole lot going on in this garden. Obviously I'm doing some chop and drop with my banana leaves. There is a miracle fruit in there. And some root beer plants. And obviously the passion fruit and the gack vine, which that's actually all the way up in the Norfolk Island pine. So there's my sugar apple in the middle. And then the turmeric is starting to go dormant. So once that's totally done, I'll go ahead and do some harvesting there. Beijing grass on the corner. More bananas. Spanish lime or Kananpa, Suriname cherry. There's a few around here. The Toppy Tombo starting to go dormant as well. That kind of makes like an underground potato. A couple of miracle fruit, some goji berries back there, fig tree, more Suriname cherries, 
purple sweet potato as a ground cover, which is really, really great when it's cooked. Some male papayas that I leave for the pollinators. It's my jabata cava. It's about six years old and made fruit for the first time this year, so that's pretty cool. The lychee, which made a few fruit this year. Do a wrap around in the backyard. Got a few ginger plants back here. Lemongrass, mulberry, canna edgeless, which is an edible canna. The strawberry guava has a second round of fruits, which is pretty cool. Nice little bite-sized tasty tart fruits. Some more cranberry hibiscus, just going out of the bed there. This is kind of my banana bed. You got a whole lot of banana plants in here. And hopefully this rack or bunch of bananas is ready soon. And there's another one towards the back. Have some black turmeric plants in here. Some blackberry jam fruit trees. Two of these little ones. More Patanga tuba or star cherry. There's some stevia going to seed. Basil plant, another peanut butter tree, another blackberry jam fruit, some South Sea salad trees, lemongrass, papaya with a whole bunch of fruit on it. Get into the nursery area a little bit. I have over 20 mango plants here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with 20 of them, but hopefully put a few in the ground. Went to West Palm the other day and picked up about eight or nine new fruit trees. So some I'm gonna keep in pots over the winter. It's my Mayho tree. Coming up on citrus season right now. We've got an orange tree and then my lime tree, which never looks great, but puts out a whole bunch of fruit. This is a green finger lime peach tree, which pretty much goes dormant for the winter. Ice cream bean. That's my tangerine tree that produces quite a bit. I got three whole red navel oranges off of this one. That's my gin berry with a chicken coop in the background. Just went through and weeded all my tree rings. Fortunately, I have a neighbor down the street that has horses and so a couple times a year I grab some horse manure from him put that on the fruit trees and they're nice and happy so this is a variegated pink lemon I have two of these take a look at what the fruits look like here fruits are variegated and then the flesh inside is pink so these are really really tasty that's a grummy chama cherry that's a soap berry Guava, canistel back behind it. This section of trees has the big guava in the back, and then a mulberry, and then a pomelo. It's got one fruit on it right now. These make pretty good sized citrus fruits, have a taste that's similar to grapefruit. You can see how big that is, pretty good size. Always gotta have the rooster in the back. So I just went through today after my weed eating and then manure adding and then fertilizer and put mulch on all of my fruit trees. This is a Cecropia. I just added a cashew and a Rolinia. This is a Potomba. That's a green star apple. Ice cream bean in the middle. Tamarind on the left. Small mango there up front. It's a Jamun in the back. This is my red wax Jambu here in the middle, which is pretty productive. Makes really nice tasty fruit. This is a yellow mangosteen. I got a couple fruits off of this one. And if you look carefully, there's a couple more on here. 
That's the ice cream bean. I've got two types of ice cream bean. I've got the darker leaf and then the lighter leaf. And I've got an Australian lily pilly. The small mango trees that I did get some really nice fruit off of this year. Ice cream bean back there, some sugar cane, a couple of mulberries, soak berries, more ice cream bean, a mammy sapote, Bismarck palm. Roosters are crowing back and forth at each other. And then in this line, I've got various citrus trees. Starting on the left, I've got a mulberry, then a red finger lime, then a grapefruit, then a pomelo, then another grapefruit, and then a blood orange, which is making its first fruit this year after about seven years. And then this last one on the end is a new tree called Kwai Muk, which is related to the jackfruit. So we'll go take a peek over at the aquaponic system, which is doing well. I've got lufa gourds that have kind of taken over the whole trellis and shade cloth. They're growing all over the place. So you can see them even growing on the supports. A little show off of the fish here. These guys haven't had their breakfast yet. So most of these tilapia are now a pound and a half to two pounds, which I brought these guys into the tank in about late February, early March. So they grow pretty quickly. And doing well. And then the koi are also doing well. Everybody's growing and nice and healthy. Take a look at what's growing. So here's the usual lettuce. A couple different stages. I'm getting into greens for fall. This is Malabar spinach. Mostly on the trellis, along with, see a loop gourd there in the middle. And these are getting close to being done. So this is a heat tolerant spinach. They like the heat and the sun. And these are the seeds that are ready to come off and save for next year. Got some interesting ones in here, starting with a couple of vanilla orchids, which are growing some pandan leaf, a little bit of variegated basil, and some collard greens and kale, some magenta plant and lemon balm, one tobacco plant, got some tomato plants that are just getting started, and I'll be removing this Malabar spinach here pretty soon and changing out to more tomatoes. There's a few there and some cucumbers. Trying out some strawberries. Bought these bare root probably about a week and a half ago and they're already perking up really nice. So that would be exciting if I can get some aquaponic strawberries. And we got some red vein sorrel and then some green sorrel, which both kind of have a citrusy taste. Some little tiny dill seedlings, some coxcomb, because why not? Longevity spinach, Suriname spinach. Again, getting worn into the greens for the fall. So Romanesco, collards, kale. Still have the mint, which always grows like crazy. Some ashwagandha there in the back. Some variegated jewels of opar. A little bit of mountain mint. This is African basil, which is a really, really strong basil taste to it. Got a few more strawberries mixed in and some Okinawa spinach. This is kind of one of my favorites to grow and show off. This is one of the South Sea salad trees and the leaves on these are just so impressive. And this plant right now is probably about six feet tall. 
So with these, you can eat the leaves raw, you can mix them in a salad, you can make wraps with them, but they're just so big and so pretty that I almost hate to even harvest these because they look so cool. A little bit smaller one here in the back. My loofah gourds are dragging down my shade cloth. They're everywhere. When it gets to be full on winter time, I need to take my shade cloth down and redo the whole structure. These ones hanging on the end kind of look like Christmas ornaments hanging down, but you can see I've just got loofahs everywhere. That's another version of South Sea Salad Tree. And again, just these crazy big long leaves. Some catsuck plants in here. I'll go around the back just to see a few more loofah gourds. So I let them go ahead and dry out on the vine and once they turn brown like that, that means it's time for them to come down, peel off the skin, let them continue to dry, shake off the seeds. Got a few Tabasco peppers here on the end. A couple jalapenos still going. And there's kind of a few vo full view of all the crops. You can see everything's so happy and growing like crazy. Thanks for checking out the farm.